Hey you guys, Jimmy here with One Road, and today I'm gonna show you how to quickly bleed your brakes by yourself. Maybe you just wanna bleed your brakes because you changed your pads, you changed your rotors, and you just wanna get the air bubbles out. Maybe you're like me and changed not only your caliper, but also your flexible brake line. In any case, the point of bleeding the brakes is to get the air out of the system, and that's what we're gonna do right now. In order to bleed your brakes on your own, you're gonna need a vacuum pump kit. I went to Harbor Freight to get mine, and this thing is awesome. You can see here, it's got a gauge to tell you how much vacuum you're pulling, and you also have a bunch of included fittings, this hose, and and a catch bottle. The process is fairly simple. The first thing you're gonna do is look for your bleeder valve. In this case, it's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the rubber cap. And so as to not lose this cap, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the grease bung of my upper ball joint. Now you can clearly see our bleeder valve. We'll need a 10 millimeter wrench to open this up. But the first thing we have to do is attach our tubing to the end of the bleeder valve. So I'm gonna go ahead and just push it on the best I can. And there you can see the tubing is now on the bleeder valve. Now to make sure I have a good seal on the bleeder valve and all the other hose connections, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling a vacuum. And you should be able to see the gauge going up. There is a slight leak. So what I'm gonna do is get some grease and put it around the fitting of my bleeder valve. And don't worry, you can always wipe up your mess afterwards. All right, and now that we applied the grease, we do have a good seal and vacuum is holding. The next thing we're gonna do is take our 10 millimeter wrench and crack open this bleeder valve. Okay, and there you can see slowly but surely our fluid is now being sucked out through the caliper and into our catch bottle. I do have a good vacuum being pulled and the bleeder valve is open just enough to let this process go slowly. If I open it a little more, the fluid will flow faster. Keep in mind, the more you open your bleeder valve, the more opportunity for air around the threads to enter. So keep your bleeder valve somewhat barely cracked open. And once you start seeing solid fluid flowing with no bubbles, you can go ahead and lock it up. Your catch bottle should look something like this. And if your fluid is really bad, it will be very dark. In my case, this is all brand new fluid because I already pre-flushed the system when I changed the calipers. Now all we have to do is clean up our greasy mess and remove our hose. When you remove the hose, you wanna make sure you still have a vacuum. And that is so when you pull this off, it'll suck all this remaining brake fluid into the hose. I could hear it sucking the brake fluid back into the hose and I spilt absolutely none. I'm gonna give it one final wipe down and don't forget to replace your cap. Well now we know that our brakes are fully bled, the brake fluid is nice, brand new and clear and there are no air bubbles in the system. The big tip for this video when using a vacuum pump like this is to make sure you use plenty of thick grease around the threads here of your brake bleeder valve. That way when you open the valve, you'll block off any possible introduction of air through the threads. Now all I have to do is the other side and I'll be on my way to great feeling brakes. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy, this is One Road, and I will see you in the next one.